Hi, James Brannan here, and this short video is to answer some frequently asked questions that voice some concerns that people generally have. Now, one of the first things that people tend to ask is, will I be out of control if I'm in hypnosis? And the answer to that is no, not at all. In fact, this is the thing about hypnosis. Hypnosis, when done in hypnotherapy, is completely cooperative. It's not about somebody getting you to do something at all. In fact, the truth is that all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. And even though on a stage show it looks like somebody's being controlled, that's not really so. That's not how it is. They may be influenced, but they're very willing to go along with what the hypnotist is suggesting. The hypnotist has tested everybody in the audience, usually at first, and whittled it down to the last few people who are most receptive and willing to go along with all their suggestions. Now, in a hypnotherapy session, it's all about guiding you cooperatively so that with the hypnotherapist, you're the one who really takes yourself into the hypnotic state and you're the one doing the processing of the information. The hypnotherapist is just making suggestions to you. So it's entirely cooperative. They can't do it for you. It's you doing it really to you. So you're in control all the time. Now, the next question is, will I be able to go into hypnosis? That's a concern that a lot of people have. They think, well, will I be able to do this thing? Maybe I can't be hypnotized. Now, knowing what you now know, that all hypnosis is self-hypnosis, you realize that we all go into hypnosis at certain times to review information or while watching a movie, like I mentioned in the other video clip, or driving a car and thinking about different things. You might have had the experience of reading a book and becoming absorbed in the book and the passing of time happens and you didn't realize how much time has gone past. Uh, you might have been absorbed in another task where time's just shot past without your uh, realizing it. All of these are hypnotic experiences. It's really about becoming absorbed into that learning state where we learn most effectively. That's what hypnosis is. We all do it. We have an innate ability to go into hypnosis. So don't worry about that at all. You're already an expert at doing it. So you'll be fine. Now, one of the other main questions that people concern themselves with is, will I be forced to say anything that I don't want to say or to do anything that I don't want to do when in hypnosis? And the answer again is a resounding no, absolutely not. You're in control. The hypnotherapist, especially in a th therapeutic situation, is only there to help you to generate a positive wanted outcome. They're helping you to become a non-smoker and that's it. So all suggestions, all ideas are positively directed at that outcome and nothing else. If a hypnotherapist was to try to get you to do things against your will, well, they probably wouldn't be in business very long. So it's all about helping you. It's very positively directed and you can do it. And you're going to find that it's a very uh, enjoyable, relaxing and positive experience. A lot of people come away commenting that they found it just incredibly relaxing, that they hadn't been that relaxed in years perhaps, or that they found it a really uplifting and positive experience. So I'm sure you're going to find the same thing too, and you're going to do very well. If you have other questions, then please just give me a call and I'll be delighted to answer them. You can also go to the FAQ section. If you go to the link up above and click on that, there's a whole list of other questions that are frequently asked with answers. When you click on each question that will drop down. But give me a call and ask me any questions you want. Make use of your free confidential consultation and we'll go from there. Bye for now.